The stage is now set for Wednesday's joint session of Congress to certify the electoral college votes. But in an election cycle that has been anything but normal, several Republican lawmakers are vowing to turn down those results. Twelve Republican senators say they will object when they meet, calling for a commission to investigate baseless allegations of election fraud. That challenge not expected to prevail as Democrats hold control of the House. News Nation's national political correspondent, Dean Reynolds, is live in our newsroom with the latest on these efforts. Dean. Barney, President Trump's claims that he won an election he actually lost has drawn the support of numerous Republican lawmakers who've embraced his arguments that voter fraud and irregularities did him in. But not all Republicans are buying it. In two days, the streets of Washington are expected to draw the most ardent members of the Trump base, who the president has encouraged to come and protest the congressional certification of Joe Biden's Electoral College triumph. There is some concern that the gathering could even provoke violence. And Washington's mayor has activated hundreds of National Guardsmen to keep the peace. But a fight of a different kind is already underway inside the Capitol itself, among Republicans. Many, like Congressman Barry Moore of Alabama, say this election is not over. In my district, they want me to fight for the president. Even though it was the same election which returned him to Congress, Moore says the contest for president was rigged and must be investigated. It's about every election that the next generation is going to see come across the ballot box. We've got to make sure it's fair and free. Moore and Congressman Ron Estes are two of more than 100 Republicans in the House who say they'll object to the electoral vote count from states Joe Biden won. We want to object to those states that there were uh, such massive numbers of fraud. And yet, while Republican-appointed judges, Republican-controlled legislatures, Republican election officials, and even the Attorney General of the United States have all said they saw no evidence of such fraud, Kansas Republican Senator Roger Marshall says he'll join about a dozen senators in objecting even if it turns a once ceremonial tabulation into a day-long spectacle. I want that two-hour debate with everybody in the room and the facts on the table. The debate is unlikely to change the outcome since both houses of Congress would have to go along. And the potential for damage to Democratic principles has other Republicans calling for an end. Liz Cheney, the third-ranking Republican in the House and the daughter of former Vice President Dick Cheney, reminded her colleagues of the court's rejection of the president's arguments, saying any attempt by Congress to override the will of voters sets an exceptionally dangerous precedent. The talk of setting up a commission to investigate fraud that Senator Ted Cruz of Texas is advocating is even more problematic, Cheney wrote. Did those proposing a new commission realize that they were in essence proposing to delay the inaugural? Senators Romney of Utah, Toomey of Pennsylvania, Murkowski of Alaska, and others all oppose objecting. Arkansas Republican Tom Cotton, another staunch conservative, said this about those fighting on. The founders, he wrote, entrusted the election of our president to the people, acting through the Electoral College, not Congress. And they entrusted adjudication of election disputes to the courts, not Congress. The president today tweeted that such Republicans were part of what he called the Surrender Caucus. All of which brings us to Vice President Pence, who is supposed to preside over Wednesday's joint session of Congress and the Electoral College roll call. If he follows tradition, he will announce the results and confirm that Joe Biden won. But he has yet to say what he will do. Today in Georgia, Mr. Pence said, quote, I know we all have our doubts about the last election, and I want to assure you I share the concerns of millions of Americans about voting irregularities. I promise you, come this Wednesday, we'll have our day in Congress." Unquote. Rob?